Pull hard. Good, pull hard. <laughs> welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah. On the bright side, yeah, this music here became my only lifeline. Think I'm going crazy, I'm not in my right mind. No. Welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah. Welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining in on our life. Well, today we're gonna rotate around a little bit in our yard work. It's been Micah cuts the grass, Colin, or actually Colin's been cutting the grass. Micah's been doing some weed eating, edging and blowing, and then Gavin's just kind of been doing some small yard work, like some picking up weeds, picking up Cam's poop, you know, that kind of stuff. Well, they're wanting to rotate because the boys have been complaining, hey, Gavin's big enough, he needs to start cutting grass. So Gavin's gonna learn how to cut grass today. He's now nine. I don't know at what age the other two started cutting grass, probably around age eight or nine. So they're saying, hey, it's Gavin's turn. So Gavin's gonna learn how to cut grass today. Colin's gonna learn how to do the weed eating and edging, and then Micah's gonna rotate and maybe do the blowing as well. Um, and also maybe do a little bit of other yard work, like trimming some limbs and all that kind of stuff. So we're about to get after it. Let's see how it goes. About to get the lawnmower out. Gavin, you ready? No. All right, let's see how it goes. All right, Gavin, first thing we want to do is check the gas. Let's see if we got gas in it. What we got? Gas. Is it all the way full? Nope. All right, let's put a little gas in. We got barely any. Barely any? Sounds about right. Pull the handle. Watch. Don't want to overflow. All right. Put our cap back on. Now with this mower, hang on. Yep, you got to hold. Yep, hold this one in. Now that actually makes it go, so you don't have to put that in. Yep, just that that engages it. You got to pull hard. Good, pull hard. <laughs> All right, pull hard, strong right. boy. <laughs> hey! I've cut down by the water, so that's kind of the dangerous spot. It'll always let me do that. But for you, look, when you're cutting, you want the wheels, to be on the line, your path, to you don't want to go completely on the edge because it'll miss some of the grass. So you, but you don't want to go dead middle. Give it just a little bit. Yeah, as you go, keep the tall grass a few inches inside the path of your mower to make sure you cut it all because if you try to go if you try to put the wheel right on the, the tall grass you're going to miss some of the grass so overlap it the cut part a little bit so that you get everything and then we're just going to make a big rectangle okay all right crank it back up Colin's gonna learn the weed eating. Now, 
This is different from the mower because it's a two cycle. So it uses an oil and a gas mix. So do not put the same gas. It's got a special gas tank over there in the garage, okay, for it. So check, make sure we got gas like you would do with the lawnmower. Wait, this is it, right? Yep. Yeah, it's at the top. Okay. Now how this one's different also, it's got a prime. So the little button on top. So that's a prime. So you want to pump that like 10 to 12 times <laughs> so to weird. prime the gas, the oil gas mix into the motor so it'll crank better. There, 10. All right, you have an on off switch up here. Okay. Right? Yeah. Done. And then you have your choke here as well. Okay? So I'm gonna give it a crank. I'm gonna try to hold it. Flipping, I can't. All right, so flip your choke up, and you're gonna crank it until it cranks, and then it'll run, and it's gonna die. So then you're gonna turn your choke off for it to crank it the next time, and then it should run smoothly. Okay. All right, try to hold it. Yeah, hold it and hold it down. Nice. Yeah, him. That's your that's your safety. So you gotta hold that in before you can pull the trigger. But this is gonna spin. Don't pull the trigger. This is gonna spin. And you see how short that is right now? You want that a little bit longer. And what, there's a blade on the inside right here that will trim it down if it gets too long. But how you get more in string is you bump it while you're spinning it. There's a little uh, bumper on the bottom. So when you bump it, it's gonna release more twine as you spin it, okay? So give it a little gas. Hold it right in. And then kind of bump. Bump it on the ground a little bit while you're spinning it. You're going to spin it. Spin it. Oh, not pull, not pull. Just a little bit. Just get a little bit of gas. Now, now bump it. Now bump it. Here, hold it for a second. Let me show you. All right, so what you're going to do is look, just a little bit, and then you're going to bump it down. See how, how much longer it is now? So you've released it out, and then when you're cutting, you want to keep safe distance between whatever you're cutting, all right? We actually need to get some eye protection. And you don't want to, you don't want to hit the house. You don't want to hit things that you're going against. All right, so just keep the safe distance and just trim the tall grass that the lawnmower can't get. All right. Let's get you some eye protection. Got to angle it. Angle the, the front down a little bit like this. A little too low. <laughs> a little too low. You gotta tilt it down a little bit more at an angle. Because you have to look. It's kind of like at this angle. Tilt it like that angle. Get some more string to bump it and get more, get more string. There you go. You 
you can kind of hear it. You hear it gets a little bit more of a whiz to it. You can tell that the, the twine is getting longer. Now try it. not to go too low you see how you scout the grass you don't want to go all the way down with hey easy you don't want to go all the way down we actually scalp it meaning it turns brown okay you want to just get it low like you like the lawnmower does okay this is harder it takes a, oh be careful it takes a little bit of time All right, there two boys are doing good trimming, cutting. So Mike has worked his way up. He's doing, <laughs> he's doing landscape. I'm laughing because these palm branches are super sharp. Yeah, these things are like are razor sharp, and uh, they keep falling and landing on his arm and his hand. I'm really bleeding because of the last one. So he's working on trimming the the palm trees here. Good job, Micah. Let's go check on Gavin. He's done a nice job. All right, the backyard looks good, G. So what'd you think? First time cutting grass? My hands hurt. Are they numb? It's the only thing that hurts, my hands hurt. Are they vibrating? No, it's feeling. Feel? Like feeling. What are they supposed to feel? No, they feel weird. Probably get all the vibration. <laughs> hey, you did good, man. It looks clean. Yeah, that's the important thing with cutting grass is you want to be careful the streaks that it leaves. So, you know, by going in long patterns, long straight lines, it'll make the grass look a lot better than doing weird patterns and yeah, zigzag back and forth. Good job, bro. The boys got the grass all cut. Everything's looking good. Um, we are one week out from the Jacksonville Spartan. And, you know, Micah's been injured, so he hasn't done a whole lot. We did do a little bit of Spartan training the other day. But Micah wanted to do a quick run through. This is kind of like the week before. So we're going to do a little bit of strength stuff. He's kind of been running a little bit with track. But we need to do a little bit more of the, uh, the conditioning with a little bit of weight added to it. So today we're going to do a little bit of heavy sandbag that's a 50 pound sandbag and he's got 25 dumbbells so we're going to just be doing some reps with farmers carry and sandbag and doing some burpees to kind of get that heart rate up while he's moving all right micah let's do a little bit so the first thing up let's go all the way to the dead tree down there and back with farmer carry move it as quick as a pace as you can and then, hop out, and then, hop over there. And then when you come back 15 burpees and then let's go all the way there and back with the sandbag as well. Okay. All right, let's hit it. Good, Micah. All right, great. 15 burps. Count them out. One, two, three. One more sandbag carry down and back. 15. Try to go to a good pace. Come on, this is where you got to beat everybody on the strength stuff. Get that 50 pound. Yeah. I see the muscles. Let's go, kid. Go quick, go quick, go quick. How far is Michael going with that? He's going to go all the way to the dead tree or that brown tree. I don't know if it's a dead tree, brown tree. Way, is that 100 yards? Way down there. Good, Micah. Run it out. Let's go. Come on. Good pace, good pace, good pace. Good job. Good job. All right, 15 burpees. 11, 12. 
Jess needs to go down All right, good. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up the vlog today. We got a little yard work done. Mike had got a little bit of uh, work in. I think he's heading actually to a dodgeball tournament. So anyways, he just got a little quick work in. A little bit, I want him to do a little strenuous work while getting the heart rate up. He's actually gonna do some running tomorrow. And again, he's got track, track practice all week, so he'll get his running in. We just wanted to work a little strength stuff. And then we will be vlogging the Spartan Jacks. So you have to tune in for that as well in the future. Guys, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for sharing. We appreciate all the support and the love that we are getting from you guys. See you in the next one. Welcome to my life, yeah. Welcome to my life. Welcome to my life.